hello friends how are you guys today we have something which i wanted to show you since the last last year or so and uh, this is a brand which i was not aware of and only came uh, recently uh, when i went to the apple b 10 meet in rosebank apple b is one of the online um, shops where you can buy a lot of fountain pens ball pens and a lot of stationery items in johannesburg and uh, there is always some kind of sale going on at the store so you should definitely go and check out their website and uh, get yourself some good quality products from them so this company which we are talking about is retro 51 as you will see it's an american brand they came with a logo of saying that life is too short to carry an ugly pen so they changed the perspective they started creating a lot of pens in a lot of lot many designs and uh, as there is something for everyone uh, if you f check out their collection so if we talk about retro 51 retro 51 was started uh, in 1990 in texas america and uh, they are now more than 30 years and still counting in 2021 the founder retired and a new team of three collectors the the people who collect the retro 51 pens took charge of the brand and in 2022 they celebrated the 25th anniversary of tornado range tornado range was launched in 1997 with the uh, three lacquer colors red blue and green body design in south africa uh, Apple B Pants is the only retailer uh, for this particular brand and in they have more than 100 retailers and but there is nothing in India currently they don't have uh, these pants available in India also if you are a retro 51 fan club you can join retro rangers where they have some awesome contests and everything and this is the pen that i won in one of their contests on the fountain pen day here we have the tornado rescue budge honeybee ballpoint as you can see it's written as tornado uh, rescue tornado budge by retro 51 and the logo also is mentioned on the same life is too short to carry an ugly pen and this particular pen um they all all came in this nice packaging and then uh, it says that to retro 51 tornado ballpoint pen buzz vbb 1839 and this is says that made in taiwan so this was made in taiwan for the design and everything and then it says that proceeds of each sale will be donated to nw honeybee habitat restoration for honeybees so this particular uh, pen uh, looks like a honeybee so let's open the pen and you will see a lot of lot many features which will make you fall in love with this thing the first thing is that this this cover itself can be used as a pen stand so if you take the pen out then you can directly put the pen like this and if you check out the pen you will definitely fall in love let's let's start from the top you have this uh, nice uh, design on the top uh, which is a pond uh, which is a beer beer represents uh, uh, the honey thing and then if we talk about the features of this pen this has a twist top all the retro 51 pens has a fifth twist top feature uh, for ball point and roller ball range and if you check the body of the pen look at the body just let me show you the body and you will definitely fall in love with the body yourself you will see so many honey bees on the body and then this nice uh, comb honeycomb pattern and then this unique antique uh, looking uh, design so this is a printed honeycomb pattern on barrel polished copper trims so these are the copper trims that i'm talking about uh, null twist top so this is the twist top if you ch now change it it's like that then easy flow ballpoint refill so this is a ballpoint refill and then uh, and then if you check out here it says tornado by retro 1951 so that is itched here and then it has a nice clipped very tight and and then this is packaged in a graphic tube and the pen length is 125 mm the diameter is 12 mm and uh, if you see the pen weight is like 28 grams and it all the pens comes with limited one year warranty the best part about this pen is that you feel the texture honeycomb pattern on the barrel as you're going to write let's say you putting your hands here you will feel the honeycomb pattern then it is lacquered in a honey yellow color and then printed with honey bees so all these things are printed and then again um, they have lacquered it multiple layers of lacquering has occurred so that uh, the design remains the same then it is completed with the antique copper accents so as you will see there is some kind of uh, 
catena will which will grow once you start using the pen that is how the whole thing is and then let's try to change the refill let's check the refill of the pen so this is the refill of the pen which is retro 1951 easy flow 9000 made in germany and uh, this is ref 71 and i don't think there is a, a fine or you know that kind of option available for ball point pens but we'll definitely try to write uh using the same now and then let's look at this pen but if you look at this pen this is really a nice beautiful looking pen so if we talk about the price of this pen this is uh, uh, the multiple variants are priced differently and uh, it depends on whether you got it at the sale or uh, uh, during what time generally uh, this pen is uh, around 42 dollars at atlas stationery 45 dollars at golet pens uh, the mrp of this pen is around 56 dollars uh, and at at apple b this pen was going for around 972 rands the ball point version is available in various shops at cult pens or something at 47 pounds or 46 pounds but depending on the sale or something you can get the normal versions um, as low as 560 zar at apple b pens so depending on the design which you choose and uh, the price uh, of the retro 1951 pens varies but we have this pen uh, which was given to us by as a gift from retro 51 as i won their uh, uh, pen contest so let's try to write with the same and let's look at the experience of this pen so i have this uh, busby journal so we are we have placed our rodia uh, blank uh, manual into this one so that it's easy to carry and uh, to do some things so let's try to write using the new pen here and let's me show you what it is so we we'll turn the twist and this pen is really really nice and feels comfortable on your hands uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, heavy weight here on the side and then it it's very light over here so wow the pen glides on the paper as you will see the pen is gliding on the paper so retro 51 and what was their what was their theme line theme line is life is too short to carry an ugly pen i definitely agree with the same This is really a fast pen as you will see the ink flows uh, very nicely and if you check out the pen so you will see that uh, on this paper there is very less uh, smudge because the ink dries uh, absolutely fast and then this is kind of uh, it feels like 0.7 mm to 1 mm tip uh, on the ball pen because this is not 0.5 for sure so this is how the whole pen looks like and uh, you can change the refills to whatever colors available on the shop and uh, because this is the black color we must be also be having a blue version green version red version and uh, uh blue black blue green red and they also have a purple i think purple ink uh, yeah so those are the color options that they are available and uh, we'll definitely check out if we can replace uh, this ball point uh, refill with the uh, gel refill or not currently i don't have a retro 9051 uh, roller gel refill so let's look at uh, what are the other contents of inside the box so we have a manual so let's take a look at the manual and then uh, try to look what they have written so it says fine writing since 1990 as i told you earlier then we'll go page by page let's take out this slip first so as i told you that there are certain versions where uh, the thing where when you buy the particular pen some of the proceeds will be donated to charity so uh, honey bee is one of those then you have owl restoration and then you have some other uh, uh, wild animals as well so let's see what they have written here honey bees are disappearing at an alarming rate this is scary because they are essential to so many crops that cannot survive without the honey bees to pollinate them which is so true with your purchase of this retro 51 pen a donation has been made to h and w honey bee habitat restoration to help preserve and protect honey bee population which is nice it's a non profit research and education foundation organized with the purpose of increasing preserving and protecting 
द हनी बीज एंड पॉलीनेटर्स टू इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑल लाइफ फॉर जनरेशन टू कम दे सो मैनी एनिमल्स और सो मैनी इंसेक्ट्स इन द वाइल्ड लाइफ विच गिवस अ लॉट ऑफ मीनिंग टू द होल इको सिस्टम लाइक स्कैवेंजर्स लाइक विच सर डोंट हंट दैम सेल्स बट सर्वाइव ऑन द लेफ्ट ओवर्स लाइक हाइना एंड ऑल so then their mission is to plant as many pesticide free honey bee habitat and pollinator pathways as possible to help create urban safe zones for pollinators which will help fight habitat loss and provide much needed pesticide free forage they also provide public education and wanted honey bee swarm removal and re- relocation so you can visit them and maybe give some donation as well and whoneybee.org so this is one of the cards which is inside this particular version of uh, the pens that we have so let's look at the manual that they have given us it's a nice manual it says yes everyone needs a fine writing instrument uh, more than ever these days this ain't your ordinary pen though it's a tool made for the 21st 21st century it hints as your style and character before you even start to write once you, once the point touches down it glides across the page with effish, effortless joy retrofit driven writing instruments have been made to last for years if not decades when properly cared for so it at most almost becomes your sidekick your voice a reliable assistant available at any hour day or night all this from an unassuming writing instrument who would have thought wow what a nice word and this is the mission as i told you that life is too short to carry an uh, ugly pen then uh, they they are talking about uh, the categories they have so they have roller ball pens easy flow ball point which we which is this one and the fountain as well so we are also going to review the fountain pen as well and it says that um, the roller ball was initially designed to combine the convenience of ball point pen with the smooth wet ink effect of fountain pen that's also so true so this is the tornado range which they recently celebrated 25 years it comes in this nice uh, colorful designs and uh, in 1997 as i told you earlier that uh, it was launched and uh, and they say that this pen will blow you away so definitely one should invest in a tornado pen for sure then um, um, they they say that uh, twist top roller ball or ball point both of them uh, can be used interchangeably so if you use this particular refills which are available in black blue or three pack available uh, you can change it you can change both the pens so it says that most tornado comes with roller ball refill but can be converted to a ball point with our easy flow refill or any parker style ball point refill will also work so it doesn't matter that you buy the refill from retro 51 or for parker you can definitely get one and then uh, when your pen is not in use make sure the ink cartridge is fully retracted to prevent ink stains that's also nice so this is the how the whole thing pen is made of this is the first cone then you have the barrel then inside you have a spring and then inside you have either the roller ball and the easy flow pen so the question that i wanted to answer was that that this pen can be work as ball point as well as roller ball you just need the refills and sometimes uh, um, during uh, the black friday or something there is always a sale that at retro 40 uh, retro 51 page where they will give you the five roller ball refills in different colors for free sometimes if you are buying a pen or sometimes at a discounted rate so then they have a tornado fountain pen as well so which we are going to discuss uh, when we are going to unbox the tornado uh, fountain pen then they says that uh, Uh, clean regularly with tepid water never use hot water alcohol or solvent and there's so many things that they have written to take care of your pen and then they also have a pencil as well where you can get a lead of 1.15 mm and uh, there are some erasers as well which you can use so this is how the whole thing looks like uh, if this is a pencil then for retro care you have a one year limited warranty uh, from the date of purchase and then uh, so they said that uh, you can have send up them a money order of 7.5 dollars to cover shipping and handling and um, um, so it says that do not return merchandise to the retailer from whom it was purchased so basically you have to return it to them at texas so warranty department they have separately made and then the all the warranty conditions and everything is written so this is how the thing is and then you can follow them on their social media on facebook at retro51 at the rate retro51 on twitter at the rate retro1951 on instagram and uh, retro51.com is their website so that's all from the manual uh, which is looped inside this barrel or cylindrical tube 
like that so friends do let me know how do you like this pen and uh, are you definitely going to buy uh, some of the series from retro and uh, this is the case that you can keep them and it it, it 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 can remain on your desk like this and the whole packaging is really nice this particular label and the whole design is different for different kinds of pens and also uh, in america you can have this rickshaw rickshaw company which makes a particular same kind of design as a sleeve so you can buy that particular sleeve it's going for like 15 dollars or something of that sort so i'll definitely uh, go and try the sleeve as well but you can check at this honeycomb pattern they have little bit of uh, honey filled uh, honey filled pattern as well which i was not able to recognize earlier but now if i look closely on the pen you will see it's such a beautiful pen wow it's a pen that you should admire it's a pen that you should keep and and they very rightly said that um, life is too short to carry an ugly pen i'm definitely becoming a collector of retro 51 1951 for sure wow this pen is amazing so i i hope that you definitely go and check out uh, on your trips to various countries where you can find this retro 51 uh, 1951 pen and definitely grab one or two from your collection for your collection and i'm in awe of how much um, time they put into the design and the manufacturing of these pens because every pen is unique and they have such a huge collection that i'm sure that you will want to buy multiple pens not and you are not going to settle on a single pen if i go to america or canada or some place i'll definitely buy some more pens from retro 1951 so don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel we are very near 5000 mark and with your help only we are going to cross the same so thank you very much retro 51 for the same thanks a lot